Okay, thanks for checking in. Hey, I'm doing a quick video on an alternative for your solo stove bonfire. Okay, specifically for just for the bonfire. However, if you have the Ranger and the Yukon, there's other um, alternatives that I found after going down this rabbit hole. So again, um, backstory, I got the solo stove bonfire for Father's Day a couple weeks ago. I've been loving it, had a couple fires. Um, just the solar stove. I don't have the stand, which I'll talk to you here in a second. And, you know, I needed the lid, I guess. Because after my first burn, um, I didn't clean it out as well as I should have, I guess, the next day after it cooled down and so forth. But then it rained. So, you know, the bottom of my solar stove looks a little cruddy, probably a little harder to clean, um, just for the fact that when uh, the water dried up along with the ashes uh it kind of um it's going to be a little bit harder to clean it so i told myself hey a lid probably will come in handy so let's look one up man seventy dollars and 99 cents from amazon i'm like for a lid i gotta remember it's solo stove okay and this is stainless steel and it's made specifically to fit on it tight and so forth i can't really give you any more information because I don't own it. I can't, I don't have it to compare with my alternative. But I'm like, you know, I looked at a bunch of different websites and right around that $75 to $78 is the price point. And I told myself, well, there's got to be another way. So I started doing some research. I'm like, what else could fit on top of the stove and, you know, at least give me um you know if it rains and so forth i live in texas it doesn't snow and the big thing is my solo stove bonfire is going to be pretty much permanent on my patio i'm not going to take it with me eh, maybe once or twice camping and so forth so it's just going to sit there and i don't really maybe need the secure part okay granted if big winds come and so forth i don't know we'll see how that goes but i wanted to find something that was less expensive and i think i found it Okay, so let's click over here. I found something called the New Star Food Service, or made by New Star Food Service. It's a pizza pan tray with a wide rim. Now, what's different, it's aluminum, okay? So you can't set this on the stove um, while it's, I guess, on fire. Obviously, it's not going to snuff it out. I'm not even for sure if the other one does that, made by Solo Stove. I think either of the two, you don't want to place anything on top of it unless you're cooking um, while, you know, you have quite a bit of heat going on. So this one here is $19.97. It's got a lot of great reviews, as you can see there. And heck, if you get this after watching this video and you don't like it, what it looks like on your stove, well, you can use it for a pizza pan, a tray, whatever you want. Okay. So, and oh, one last thing. As I was looking at the ratings, um, other people have used this for the Bonfire Solo Stove and said it works. So I was like, all right, let's do it. Oddly enough, I didn't find any videos on YouTube, and that's the reason why I'm making this video. Uh, I typed in to YouTube alternative lids for solo stoves and all this other stuff. I didn't get anything to pull up. So I hope this helps you. All right. Last um, as in for the base, all right, you want to pay 50 bucks for something that really, I mean, it looks cool, it's stainless steel, and I thought, well, with these holes, obviously, there's got to be something that helps it breathe and so forth, you know, the solar stove, um, but turning the solar stove over, there's nothing of holes on the bottom where I think you get that maybe extra air that comes in. I know the theory is just to get it off your cement or whatever, but I'm not paying $49 for that. So I came up with an alternative. Um, and I'll show you here in a second. I think my alternative only cost me at the Home Depot $21. And uh, yeah, I'll show you what not only my new base looks like, but also what the lid looks like. And you can go from there. Stay tuned. Okay, there she is, the solo stove bonfire. And as you can see, well, I got the lid on and there's my base. All right, they're small little bricks. I forget what they're actually called. Maybe I'll find that and throw it in the description where, you, you know, they were cheap. So 
I forget, maybe there's 24 of them. I bought some adhesive, uh, contractor adhesive, and just basically in between the two that you see and some of the sides, I squirted that on there. It actually holds pretty well. So, ah, it looks pretty decent. Kind of matches some of the exterior, especially the cement. Um, as you can see, I had a log that actually flipped out and it kind of um, made a little stain there, which I'll have to power wash off. But just go show you, maybe it's very important to get a base. Um, and then here's the lid, the pizza pan lid, kind of fingerprinty, and I think that'll happen. But as you can see, you know, I mean, she fits on there. Well, I mean, and the lip goes over. So I'm guessing if there's water, you know, it's raining, it'll kind of seep in, or not seep, but sit in here and then just roll off. So, you know, there's just a little bit extra that sticks out all the way around. So yeah, I mean, again, is this thing gonna last forever? No, but for $19, like I said, I think it's a great alternative. Hell, maybe you can even cook on it. Throw a couple hot dogs or whatever, as long as this fire isn't roaring. Maybe some embers in the bottom just producing heat. So again, I hope this helps you. Thanks for watching. Have a good day.